hey beauties welcome back again to my channel it's me ruthie so on today's video i'll be showing you all how i double my bundles or weft with my sewing machine for a fuller density or illusion so on today's video this is the mesh dumb cap i'll be using for today's tutorial and you i would advise you all to use a transparent one like this not the dark one so you'll be able to see whatever you're sewing on the sewing machine so this is the lace closure i'll be using for today's tutorial which is a two by six lace closure that's the size and i'll be pinning them down so i'll be able to like have a good grip on the um wig or the closure while sewing it on the mesh down cap so i'm going to actually go in first with my needle and thread which is very important and i would always advise you to always use your needle and thread first with your closure if you're actually a pro and you know how to do it on the sewing machine that's perfect but i always advise beginners to always use um your needle and thread first to place it firmly before you sew whatever you want to sew on the wig so guys after i'm done sewing i'm just going to fast forward to where i'm going to mark out the lines i'm going to be using for my sewing and on the sewing machine i'm going to use my concealer to mark out the lines and after that i'll be going to show you guys the next stage this video is going to be a quick one even if it's going to take more time as usual but than usual rather but it's going to be a quick one so i'm going to just show you all how i just double my weft in order to have a fuller illusion or like a fuller density so i don't have to keep sewing and sewing and sewing you know and like i might miss some steps so this is what the video is for So basically, once you're done sewing, always remember to tie and cut your thread. So this is the two bundles I'll be using and it's just the two bundles. So that's why I want to show you guys how to do the weft. So guys, I'm going to be using my concealer to mark out the lines I'm going to be sewing on. And this is a very good step to take when sewing your weft, either on the machine like the sewing machine or on the hand like sewing it with your hands is very advisable for you to always mark out the line so you'd know how many bundles you're going to be using so i actually made a mistake while drawing the whole line thing but that's because i wasn't making a tutorial it was just a freehand sketch and i was also videoing i wasn't paying more attention to it i just wanted you all to see every part of it so that's why i mean yeah that is just why i didn't do the lines perfectly well but yeah this is these are the lines i would be using for the sewing on my sewing machine so guys for this um outlining of this um whole lines you can use a marker you can use your concealer like i did you can use a pencil a crayon as far as it's going to like show you a line or a guideline to whatever you want to sew you can use it just make sure you're comfortable and you can see it and it's bright but make sure it's something that you can wipe out like you can clean at the end especially when you're doing it for a client so this is what it's looking like right now like i'm showing you guys the line and i'm going to start off from that first part so guys i didn't start off my double wefting first of all with the down part no i started doubling my bundle 
in the middle okay not at the beginning because i didn't want the the um the end to be um very full it wouldn't make sense like and the whole hair might actually end up getting exhausted before i finish the whole um hair or the whole wig so first of all you want to start up with a single weft and just sew them i think i did like three or four lines before i started doubling my weft because i wanted the whole fullness to be in the middle of the hair not at the end or not at the beginning it's just the illusion of the middle being super full because mind you i actually used just two bundles but this hair is perfect for two bundles alone it's full and as you saw at the beginning it's very full at the um beginning so i used just two bundles and it's that full so that's why i decided to use the weft the doubling of the weft in the middle so it has that full illusion and i don't end up like regretting anything <laughs> yeah so guys one quick one please while sewing on the sewing machine with a mesh dump cap do not drag your wig cap do not drag it if not it's not going to come out nice just let it sew and just go like that don't drag the cap or don't drag the hair okay so i'm going to double it right now and as you're seeing i'm doubling it together and one end is below the other end and that's what's going to make it nice okay i don't know how to speak that english but yeah once one end you can't put two ends together okay because if you put the two ends together it might firstly break your needle and secondly it might get tangled if you put two ends together like i don't know how to put it because you know they actually sew this weft okay so when you put together the um thread might get tangled in between the other threads and threads you know so it end up jamming or breaking your needle so do not put it together just make sure one end is below a bit the other one and then you sew so after you're done sewing that first sewing the first track you're going to go in with the second one and then just sew the second one down that's how to double your weft okay i'm going to be showing you guys another style like another um clip not style i'm going to repeat the same process again so this is just a quick one so that's all for the first bundle now we're going to be going in with the second bundle and actually this hair i don't know if i mentioned it but it's actually an eight inches hair so it's pretty not it's not too long it's short so i'm going to go in with the last um bundle and this is how i'm going to do my final closure okay now I repeated the same process I did earlier, doubling my weft. And yeah, that's what you guys are going to see now. So I'm going to actually fast forward to the um, finishing up, okay? The finishing touch of the hair, the last part. I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my finish and final closure for a neater, um, neater illusion, neater pattern. You won't see where it started unless you really want to open the hair. So I'm going to be showing you guys after this clip. So keep watching. And before I forget, please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly please subscribe to my channel. Thank you all if you're a subscriber already. Thank you if you're actually an expiring subscriber. I love you a lot. Thanks for the whole support. So guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys the finishing or the close-up look of the whole hair. How I did the whole close-up and the whole finishing touch. So I'm going to like, I'm not going to add it on top of the other hair or the closure i'm just going to add it very very close to the 
closure okay and that's what you're seeing right now very close to the closure and i'm going to sew it actually you this this thing was very fast so if you know you don't really know how to do it just take your time to sew on the machine it's not like by force you have to like do it very fast okay just take your time and make sure you close all angles that are looking like there's space when it comes to the top part like what you're seeing right now just make sure you close every angle and it's very close also to the um closure or the frontal if you're doing a frontal or closure just make sure everything is closer to the closure so you don't have like a space a deep in space and all that i know you know what i mean yeah but that's it so if you want to actually go back again to like resew it so it's a bit stronger you can still do the same thing to your um um to your wig you can go back to sew this whole thing again if you wish okay yeah so that is all for the whole sewing part and i still had leftover bundles which i actually fixed in 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 between the whole hair so after i was done with the sewing i had to cut out the um the mesh down cap where i sew my closure so i have that nice pattern you all know what i'm talking about right yeah so i have to cut it out so i have the nice pattern and the nice closure idea so after cutting it out i styled my wig i styled my wig did whatever i'm supposed to do i used my um oil sheen to style the wig and i used my mousse to just make the um the whole curls stay together before it gets to my client so it doesn't start looking like it's an old hair i don't know how to put it but yeah that's why i used my mousse and i used my hot comb to get the closure stay put you know like just make it down and use the hot comb to put them together and that will be all for the whole video i hope you love this video and i hope you enjoyed it keep watching it's not finished yet it's just me that i finished talking okay i'm just one that i finished talking so just keep enjoying and leave me a comment in the comment section below like the video please and subscribe if you still haven't subscribed yet i'll see you all on my next video i love you all so much Bye.